for that. We got some snow coming. We do. We've got a major winter storm, it appears, mm -hmm. headed our way. So we want to make sure that you're prepared for what could happen across our area. Yeah, that means you're going to need to pay attention. We've got some to do's for you, a to do list, right? And you've got a couple days to do it. Friday and Saturday should be dry. You know, it was gray out there today and chilly with temperatures in the 50s, but that was pretty typical for January. Now, as we head into the weekend, we do have some cold air coming in. That cold air should be in place so that when the precipitation arrives overnight Saturday and continues through Sunday. Most of that is going to fall in the form of snow, especially north and west. There will be that dreaded wintry mix zone that sets up across the triad, but there is the potential for high totals of snow as well as ice, which we know is not really good news across the region. And look at the temperatures right now. We're in the 30s in Reedsville and Martinsville, close to freezing 35 in Lexington, Ashboro in the mid 30s, low 30s in North Wilkesboro. This precipitation you see here did not make it down to the ground, but provided those gray skies out there. And we do have a chance for at least a little bit of patchy snow across the mountains. West facing slopes could see some accumulation, and we do have a freezing fog advisory that is out for Carroll County points north and west. So if you do have to travel overnight, that will be a concern. Very limited amounts of snow with this little wave that's moving in. Temperatures will be close to freezing in the morning. We get the clouds pushing out and some sunshine coming in. That is this area of high pressure building in behind it. It's also going to bring in a cold north wind. So Friday is breezy. Temps are going to be in the low 50s, which is normal. But you add in that wind out of the north at 10 to 20 miles an hour. It's not great for being outdoors. It's going to make it feel like it's in the 30s and 40s for most of the day. For the foothills, a high of 46 tomorrow afternoon. Also that cold wind. And then for the mountains, we may not get as much sun tomorrow. Going to keep it windy with the winds at 15 to 25 miles an hour. Temperatures do get above freezing at least briefly in the mountains tomorrow. Let's go well to the north and west where finally this storm system is making its way over the Pacific Northwest. It'll move through the Rockies tomorrow over the Gulf Coastal States on Saturday, a little bit behind schedule. Remember we talked about timing, but it looks like that would push most of our precipitation into the daytime hours on Sunday. Could be a little patchy light precipitation Saturday afternoon evening. We're not anticipating a whole lot, maybe some light amounts in the mountains. The main event is going to be coming in on Sunday. This is Sunday morning. Notice how it's all snow here in white and then that transition zone starts to push to the north and we start to see a changeover in parts of the triad, some sleet, maybe some freezing rain. It's mainly rain across the eastern half of the Carolinas by Sunday night and into Monday morning. It is well up the coast. So what we do know is we're anticipating measurable snow and ice and strong wind. Those are not good combinations. What we don't know exactly yet are the exact totals and the exact precipitation type for your neighborhood. We've got a pretty good idea and we're fine tuning that. We want you to go ahead and prepare though because we have significant precipitation in the forecast for maybe some outages as well as hazardous travel. Here's an idea of where some of the heavier snow is going to be falling right up against the mountains and the foothills with less snow south and east. As for freezing rain, I think there's a potential for a significant ice storm setting up across central North and South Carolina. That could be in our area, specifically in this zone here. I think right now it is mainly snow in this area running along 40 and 85, but there'll be some icy mix too, and it is mainly an icy mix south and east could have heavy snow, even some double digit totals in some of our mountain communities, significant snow across the triad. Now, if we do see this storm system shift a little bit, we could also be bringing that heavy snow band either south or north. So we encourage you to make sure you're touching base with us. As I mentioned, freezing rain is a real possibility with this storm. We're kind of hoping there's a little more sleet because that would at least be not as bad on the power lines and all the outages but we do want you to be prepared. So make sure you've got all those things in your disaster kit at home. Make sure you've gassed up the car. Make sure you know how to heat the home and do some cooking if you do have outages. You're definitely going to need to heat the home because look at the temperatures in the 20s into next week. We'll be in one of those thaw and refreeze patterns once the snow is on the ground.